Hey there, KG5 REB. I uh, wanted to do a little video showing a current sensor I made up. Uh, I got it from another viewer, another um, YouTuber, uh, VK3YE. Uh, I just replicated it and wanted to share the knowledge. It's uh, really cool. It's really fun messing around with these things. So, this is the current sensor. It is, um, you can see. An LED. It's just an LED um, attached to those two wires and uh, wrapped around the toroid and the toroids around the dipole right here. And this is just a um, uh, 10 meter dipole, and uh, that's all. That's all it is. You just re you wrap it. It can be two, three, four, ten turns around the toroid. I'm not sure exactly how much it it, it uh, affects it, but the more, uh, I think the more turns you add, the more sensitive it gets, um, and the less turns, the less sensitivity. And so, yeah, that's basically the construction of it, just a toroid, some copper wire, and an LED. And uh, I like to choose red because I, I think that's the lowest it takes the lowest voltage to turn on, and and it's it works best when it's around the antenna uh, center conductor. When it's around it, if it's um if you're just holding it like near it, it doesn't work as well. But yeah, I'll just demonstrate here for you I'm on twenty eight dot zero six five. I already made sure the frequency is not in use and running about. you see this here about a watt that's about a watt and one watt about equals to this much light that's pretty bright even with one watt so and if you increase the carrier, maybe, oh, let's see what this is now. Oh, that's really, this thing's really sensitive. That's, uh, yeah, back down to one watt. That's really, oh, that, no, that's actually 10. That's nearly 100. Very bright. So if we go down, so this would be 10 watts. Yep, that's the uh, that's the uh, current sensor, RF current sensor. It's um, it's very bright even with one watt. It gets really bright with with a uh, hundred watts, and it, and you can kind of tell it. It wasn't that much brighter from ten to a hundred, and uh, I guess that just goes to show. Um, doesn't take much power. And uh, so let's I'll show you one more thing. Turn off all these lights. See how bright it is. So this is 10 watts again. Pretty bright. So yeah, very cool. Just wanted to do a quick video showing that. RF current sensor. Very easy to build doesn't take much at all and uh, and what's also cool is you can is you can move it around if like I was I was using a vertical antenna say like this is a vertical if you hold it up and transmit if you like go up and down the vertical you can see where most of the current most of the RF current is radiating from which is uh, it was very cool it's just uh, another 
uh, tool you can use to see where the um, antenna is radiating the most. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.